Catwoman. Today we are making a Catwoman cake. It looks so dope. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quality Pops. My name is Halle Berry and today we are making Catwoman. I made Catwoman and Batman simultaneously. It was the first time I made like 3D sculpted cakes that looked like kind of like real people. Oh my gosh, so stressful. I didn't think I could do it, but now I know that I can. I just need to work on my technique. I love everything about this cake, mistakes and all. Now to create this cake, I'm starting with one of those like styrofoam heads that they use for wigs. <laughs> I cut the top of it off, shaved down the sides a little bit, and then covered it with some food grade silicone. Now if you're gonna recreate this cake, you can add another layer of cake because you only really need to support the chin. I'm using styrofoam foam to create the entire bottom half of her face because I'm not gonna eat this. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna eat this and I'd rather throw away two layers of cake than three. Using styrofoam allows me to show you some awesome buttercream technique and keeps my cake waist down. Now on top of my styrofoam I'm adding an eight inch round cake and on top of that we've got some buttercream and then a six inch half dome cake. I'm gonna shave away the sides and really start to create the Catwoman shape. What is a Catwoman shape? Kind of like an ugly circle. <laughs> I'm just trying my best to make it look like a head, like a person's head. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing my best is what I'm doing. I'm not really adding any of like the face detail, like the nose or the mouth. I'm gonna be doing all of that detail with buttercream later on. Once I was happy with the head, I gave my cake a crumb coat and then I put it in the fridge to set up. After about an hour or two, I took it out and realized I needed to cut away more cake so that I could account for her eye sockets. So I cut away more cake and then I started to add my skin tone layer of buttercream. Now originally I was going to create Zoe Kravitz, but I love Michelle Pfeiffer's like Catwoman mask. So instead I decided to just mix and mash up all of my favorite Catwomen. So the skin tone buttercream that I'm using is like if you mixed Michelle Pfeiffer, Halle Berry, Eartha Kitt, and Zoe Kravitz in a bowl, and then you just like put it all over the cake. That's the skin tone that I'm going for. I totally forgot about Anne Hathaway. I don't know why, but I did. I'm gonna cover my entire cake with my skin tone buttercream, and I'm gonna exaggerate the amount of buttercream that I add to her mouth and her nose. It'll make it easier for me to carve away buttercream when I start to really define her features. Now when my entire cake was covered, I put it in the fridge, let it set up, and started to shave away my buttercream and create my version of Catwoman. So we've got like Halle Berry's like lips and cheekbones. I went with Michelle Pfeiffer's chin. Can you actually tell? I don't think you can actually tell because my technique is like so, so still. <laughs> I'm just happy this looks like a pretty lady. Now I had to carve away more buttercream around her eyes so I could add my gumball eyeballs. They're the perfect size, perfect shape, perfect everything. After that, I added more buttercream to create her eyelids, put it in the fridge, let it set up, and then really started to shape them. I think these were like Zoe Kravitz eyes, but I, I, who knows now, I don't know. When I was happy with my face shape, I added a very thin layer of buttercream to get her face as smooth as Halle Berry's. Oh my gosh, her skin is just like porcelain. But even then, there was a lot of like buttercream texture still. It couldn't be like perfect, but I tried to come close. After that, pulled my cake in the fridge to set, took it out, and added some luster dust to create this like evening like very dark eyeshadowy look. And I paired that with like this muted sort of like maroon lip. Oh my gosh, just gorgeous. Very understated. I like this cake because I use fondant strategically. Strategically. I got it right the first time. Why did I keep going? So to create the front of Catwoman's mask, I'm using black fondant. After I finished like adding all of that makeup, I was really scared about adding black buttercream to create her mask. I was scared that if I messed up, it would just stain the rest of her face. So I used fondant. But for the rest of her mask, I'm using black buttercream. This mask is like a perfect mix of both. I used fondant to create her ears, then I worked on her eyebrows a little bit. Then I used black buttercream to blend my fondant pieces into the rest of the cake. 
After that, I did some work with her eyes with very thin pieces of brown fondant to create the eye color, and then magic sauce and food coloring to finish the pupil and the catch light. When I finished that, it was time to add all of the mask stitch detail. So first I'm going to use some fondant tools to create a guide for all my stitches. Then I'm gonna use gray buttercream to create all of that Michelle Pfeiffer stitch work. Oh my gosh. This was so exciting. Also, I didn't like it because it took forever. Very rewarding though, but also it sucks. I hate doing detail work with buttercream. I wish I could just hire somebody Maybe like, I would pay like $50 to do this stitch work. I just don't have the patience. <laughs> I really hated this stitch work, but man, it was so rewarding when I finished this cake. Look, look at it, man. Oh my gosh. I did that. It's just incredible. I never thought I could do something like that. And yet, here it is. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep the buttercream texture on her mask, but I was scared that everyone was gonna think that this cake was just covered in fondant. And I ended up really liking it. You got the contrast with the smooth buttercream on her face, and then you got this like rough texture on her mask. It just looks sick. Now there are a lot of things that I need to work on when it comes to shaping somebody's face. Looking at the footage now, I really need to work on how like the bridge of her nose blends into the rest of the cake. I also feel like I should define her chin and her like jawline a little more. I can't fix it now, but I'm definitely gonna work on all this stuff when I create another face cake. Now Batman is on the way. He looks so good, it looks so good, it looks so good. That episode is coming out soon. But I'm curious, what do you think? What, do you like it? What do you think I should improve on? And what character would you like to see next? Marvel, DC, I think it'd be so cool to do all of the Justice League. The thing that's scary to me is having to create all of Gal Gadot's hair. A ton of brown buttercream just like going down, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. It's gonna stress me out. Now for all of you who stayed till the end, here's a little secret. This cake has a part two. After I finished cutting my Catwoman cake, I realized that I'm just gonna throw this cake away. So why not give it a second life? So I put my cake piece back in, covered it with more buttercream, ripped off the fondant pieces, and transformed this cake into another character. Now stay tuned because in part two, I'm gonna show you how I turned this cake into Batgirl. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your cake ideas in the comments section. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye. Now to create Catwoman, I'm using half styrofoam and half cake. No one else is gonna eat this cake. And my doctor said that I'm not allowed to eat entire cakes, so most likely this was gonna be thrown away. But I feel more comfortable throwing away two layers of cake instead of four. Styrofoam just keeps my cake waist down. When I was creating Catwoman, I decided to mix all of my favorite Catwomen. So this skin tone is like if you took Michelle Pfeiffer's skin tone, Halle Berry, Eartha Kitt, and Zoe Kravitz, and you just mix it in a bowl and put it on the front of a cake. Just a mix of everybody, except Anne Hathaway because I totally forgot that she was Catwoman. When I finished shaping my face cake, I did not want to use black buttercream to create her mask. So many things could go wrong. So instead, I created the front of her mask with fondant. I still use black buttercream to create the back of it, but using fondant for the front brought my stress level down. Creating the stitch detail for my Catwoman cake sucked. I hated it. it took so much time to make these stupid little buttercream lines. It took me like six hours because I stopped so many times in between because I was just done. Because I just didn't want to do it. But I gotta tell you, it was very rewarding.